Shall we go? Shall we go with the flow? Yes, let's. Okay, so all of the stuff that is read in from the file pointer right here, FP, is going to be attacker controlled. Got a whole bunch of signed integer things, which I'll talk about later. But a whole bunch of signed integers, but also you can see that there seems to be a big old stack buffer right here, color map. Well, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and scroll on down, see what's up. Okay, well, FP is used to read in a bunch of stuff, but it's not actually stored anywhere. And as this comments suggests, it's just skipping this data. So it knows a particular data structure exists in the file pointer, and it's just skipping past the bytes that it doesn't care about. Then if we go ahead and move down a bit into the consequential code, we can see that FP is reading in a D word or a 32-bit value here, and that catches info size on fire. Read along into width, read along into height, throw away the next word worth of data, read a word into depth, read a D word 32 bits into the integer, signed integer compression, skip, 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 and read a D word into colors used, and then skip. All right, so then we've got our image width and height from here, our tainted attack controlled data. So image height is acid, image width is acid, but they are doing appropriate sanity checks here. They're checking to make sure that this, you know, if this is less than zero, so if this is a negative value, well, that's bad uh, for reasons that you'll see later on in the class as we learn about uh, integer overflows and other integer issues. So it's bad for this signed value to be a negative value because that would not be a legitimate width, nor would it be a legitimate height. So it's appropriate that they're sanity checking them there. Great. Moving on, we've got Okay, so I'm going to mark these as uh, semi-attack controlled after that because the attacker is now limited to the values of 1 to 8192. So then moving on, the info size is attack controlled, and if it was set to something greater than 40, then it's going to do a loop that does a subtraction where it goes down and decrements it and gets characters and throws them away. So not particularly interesting. Then we have a, another check that says if depth is less than or equal to eight and colors used is exactly equal to zero, then it'll instead set colors used equal to one bit shifted to the left by depth number of bits. So basically either way, if the attacker sets this to not zero, they get to completely control it. Otherwise they can be, you know, essentially semi-controlled in that they can have a, you know, however many bits they want to shift there. And then ultimately we get down to this. It is a F read file read from the file pointer, four bytes at a time, colors used number of bytes. But this, my friends, with this color map being a big fixed size buffer on the stack is setting off my splitty sense because we are reading an acid amount of data from a acid file into a fixed size stack buffer. That makes my splitty sense tingle. And what kind of tingle is it? Well, it looks like a unsafe or weakly bounded function. It's not listed here, but there are many that are not listed here. And so that F read is ultimately leading to a buffer overflow. It's not safe. All right, so what was the fix for this? You can see that they added a sanity check on colors used. And colors used, though, is a int, a signed integer. So does the sanity check work? No, it does not. What if colors used was negative one? So basically, if it was, you know, colors used is a signed int, so we're gonna assume it's 32 bits here. And so if that was negative one, it would be, you know, all Fs, but it would pass this sanity check just fine. Is negative one greater than 256? No, it's not, so it would continue on. It would use the negative one here. It would ultimately be converted to this unsigned size T and consequently it would do a gigantic read in from attack control data into this color map. And even though the colors used would be, you know, a maximum size thing like 4 billion or 2 billion when the negative value is converted to a positive value, because F read will happily and conveniently just read in from the file and when it runs out of file, it will just be you know, send back an end of file error and be like, okay, well, I read all that data into color map. So if it uh, reads enough data into color map to overflow, and if, you know, the size is still bigger than that, it'll still just overflow and then error out. But the, you know, F read is not even checked for an error. So 
you know, there's no way to know whether it ended because it just reached the end of the file and then successfully buffer overflowed and then was just gonna, you know, continue on. Uh, continue on meaning exit out of this function or whether there was, you know, some other sort of error. So ultimately this sanity check is not successful. And this is a thing you're gonna learn about uh, later in the class, which I call insanity checks. Whenever you're using a signed value in a sanity check, it more often than not is going to get messed up and it's not going to do what you want it to do. And it will successfully let an attacker who has full control of colors used still back through and they'll be able to exploit the buffer overflow still. And just generally, you know, again, we'll come back to this in later sections of the class, but all of these sort of things right here, all being signed ints, that's a bad thing. And the names plus the fact that they're signed ints tells me it's a bad thing because you've got things that can never legitimately be negative, things like sizes or the numbers of colors used. Can you ever have a negative number of colors used? No, you can't. Can you have a negative count? Well, maybe sometimes, but usually not. So the names tip you off, the fact that it's signed tips you off, and this is generally a tip off that, you know, the code base you're looking at has not been programmed paranoid and consequently will probably have the type of vulnerabilities that we learn about in this class. So remember, program paranoid because it's not paranoia if they really are out to get you.